Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation and in today's episode I'm gonna go ahead and walk through you guys on how to beat Sephiroth uh, stage 15 in the Hades Cup, okay? Because right now he's giving a lot of people trouble uh, and he's kind of making held uh, heads tilt a little bit just because of the fact of like he's He's kind of doing some things that's throwing a lot of people off, which are going to be the slash attacks, okay? In case you haven't uh, fought him already, okay? Sephiroth pretty much only has two types of attacks in this event, or in this quest. He has a dark energy ball, ball attack, which you can turtle through, okay? Um, on top of the fact that he has a killing move, which is a, a slash, the slash attack, okay? That is going guaranteed to be killing you, okay? Now, in case you didn't know as well, when fighting him, all right, it even says it in the top right hand corner over here, uh, but he does have a 70% and 30% uh, revenge counter threshold. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put the values up on the screen as well. Uh, there it is. Okay, so that's how much health he has, though, and those are the revenge values uh, for his HP. Okay, now there is an actual strategy that you have to follow, as far as I can tell anyways, in order to beat him. Uh, and I managed to figure it out, I think, by by accident, uh, but I figured it out nonetheless, okay? Uh, now, one thing I do want to note, and this is the setup that I'm using. Right, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the setup. Uh, one thing that I do want to note, and I'll, I'll explain the strategy real quick before I take a look at my setup, is that too much damage can be a bad thing if you don't do it at the right moments, okay? Uh, and I'll go more into detail about it in a sec after once we get into the battle and I start showing you the specifics, okay? Uh, but your key strategy here is that I figured out a way to make it so that he only does his slash attack twice, okay? Which is all you need so that way you can survive both of them through your two second chance abilities, okay? Um... I found out that if you do too much damage too fast uh, when reaching his thresholds, for some reason he'll start using his slash attack sporadically randomly, okay, at, at, at other points when you're not reaching the threshold, okay? Um, at least that seems to be the case for me so far, okay? I've done this about like six, seven times already, and I've had, and I've had like cons pretty consistent results, okay, where I've only had him do the slash attack twice, and pretty much only on the turns that he's, that he's hit the revenge values, and that is it, okay? Um, so I will, I would say that this is a reliable strategy that I'm about to show you, okay? Um, but, okay, so other, aside from that, let me just go ahead and quickly show you guys my setup that I'm using before we jump into battle and I go into the specifics of, of what I did in order to beat him, okay? So, real quick, this is the setup that I'm using, okay? Let me turn off the thresholds real quick. Uh, boom, there we go. Okay, so this is the setup that I'm using. Okay, for the most part, most of my medals aren't anything ridiculous, okay? Um, the only medals, and I'll put up my traits real quick so you can see them. Put, oh no, uh, I'll quickly hide my body as well so you can uh, look at that properly, okay? So this is the setup that I'm using, okay? Now, there are a lot of traits involved. The only medals who, with uh, significant traits that you actually might want to be aware of is going to be my Supernova Sephiroth because it does have minus 60 defense, uh, ground, as well as extra attack, as well as my Kingdom Hearts 3 Marluxia, which has minus 60 ground, okay? However, I will state that after done, doing the event multiple times, um, I'm willing to bet that you don't need either of those in order to beat the event. You can. I'm pretty confident that you can beat the event using just straight up normal metals. Uh, as long as, you know, you got them beefed up, evolved with Meowows, got their Chips and Dales in if possible and stuff. As Like, you don't need good traits in order to beat this event. I'm pretty confident in that fact, okay? Uh, let me turn on my body again. There we go. Okay. But yeah, I'm pretty confident in the fact you don't need good traits in order to beat this event, okay? And just to explain my setup real quick to any beginners out there, uh, or intermediate players, either one, okay? Uh, the way that I'm doing my setup is that I have 
Uh, can you remember three Malifs in here purely to provide max reverse buffs and debuffs uh, to help support my Supernova Sephiroth, okay? Because even though Supernova Sephiroth provides most of the reverse debuffs by himself, especially because mine uh, has extra attack, so I, I get minus 14 reverse debuffs. Um, I don't have, I won't have max reverse strength, okay? Uh, which I will still need. So, at least in terms of this setup, uh, even if you don't, even if you happen to replicate my, this setup, like, metal by metal, like, exactly the way it is, and let's just say you have no traits at all whatsoever, so you don't even have the extra attack on Sephiroth, okay? That won't matter because the fact that Maleficent will still provide max reverse buffs and debuffs for you. Okay, so it won't be as much of a big deal. Okay. Um, I have Kingdom Hearts 3 Ienzo because Ienzo, you can turtle through the dark energy ball, ball attacks that Sephiroth does, okay? It is, you cannot turtle through the slash attacks, which is the whole point of the strategy, so you can basically force him to only use it twice at most. Um, sometimes you might be lucky and he just won't use the slash attack, okay? Uh, but for the most part, I've been pretty consistent on making him only use the slash attack only twice, okay? And you will need Kingdom Hearts 3 Yenzo in order to turtle through the Dark Energy Ball attacks, okay? And then from here, in terms of buffs and debuffs, you don't really have to worry about too much because of the fact that uh, FFRK Lightning, or at least in my setup anyways, my FFRK Lightning provides all the upright buffs and debuffs for me, um, and I don't have to worry about reverse because Kingdom Hearts 3 Melissa already did that for me, but even if she wasn't there, my Kingdom Hearts 3 Marluxia also provides max uh, reverse buffs and debuffs for me, okay? And for this event, I am going to be using a friend's FFRK Sephiroth, just because I have no reason not to. <laughs> it's one of the best medals out there that my one of my friends in my party is currently sharing, so. Um, but it's not necessary, I should add, okay? So, now that we've gone over through my setup real quick, all right, we'll go ahead and jump into the actual battle and I'll show you exactly what I did and kind of go more thoroughly uh, the like what you want to make sure you do when fighting him. Okay, because there's actually quite a bit of a There's actually some stuff you want to do slightly different compared to what you would normally do when fighting with someone with a with a threshold Okay, because he seems to I don't know. I don't know why okay, but if you do this any other way from what I could tell so far you're most likely going to lose because in fact he'll just start using the slash attacks randomly. So this is what I did in order to make him only use his slash attacks twice. Now there's a particular, very specific uh, kind of strategy uh, in terms of how to beat him and they do involve uh, manipulating his revenge counters, which I just put up on the screen, okay? Those are his, are his revenge values, uh, revenge counter values in terms of his HP. He has one at 70% of his HP, as well as one on at his 30% HP. And those are the numbers over there, okay? Now, the pattern that I started noticing the first few times I started to do this, okay? Uh, at first, it felt like Sephiroth was just randomly using his slash attacks. <laughs> and, and you felt like you just had to get lucky, okay? Um, I will say, though, that after a while, I started noticing a pattern um, in terms of when he uses the slash attacks, okay? And they all have to do with A, how much damage you do, um, or whether or not you do too much damage, I'd say, as well as the fact on whether or not you're using any supernovas that turn, okay? Um, the main rule of thumb that I wanna give you guys is to try and not use any supernovas on the turn you know you're gonna be hitting one of his one of his revenge values. Okay. Um, on top of the fact to try and save as many of your supernovas as possible for the final turn of the battle. Okay. You want to try and save as much damage as possible for the turn after you reach his thirty percent, so that way you can just kill him in one quick swoop. Okay. Um, because one thing I did notice is that once you reach the thirty percent threshold he seems more likely to start using uh, the slash attacks, okay? So, the strategy, um, so overall the strategy is don't use supernovas on a turn 
on the turns that you know you're going to be reaching his damage threshold or uh, his revenge counter threshold. On top of that, try and save as many of your supernovas as possible for the turn after you reach his third, his uh, his last revenge uh, counter threshold. Okay, so you can kill him all in one quick suit. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Now, one of the things that uh, I want to point out as well is that the only supernovas that are okay to kind of well, and it kind of depends on your setup and how much damage you can do with your setup. But the only supernovas that are okay to use before the very last turn are any extra uh, guilt boosting supernova abilities you haven't had. Okay, so in my case, I'll show you. So in my case, I happen to have three medals uh, to provide guilt boosting uh, abilities for the supernovas. Okay, I have FFRK Lightning, my Kingdom Hearts 3 Marusha, and my friend's FFRK Sephiro. All right, so for me, it's okay for me to use two of those three uh, before the last turn, okay? Um, and in this case, because of fact, on the very first turn, he, Sephiroth does start off with max defense, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie to overwrite that, okay? Now, on top of that, because of the fact that the override from Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie's uh, Supernova does provide max reverse buffs and debuffs, I'm also gonna take advantage of that and use one of my reverse metals, uh, Guilt Boost Supernovas as well, to take, because of the fact that the upright and reverse buffs and debuffs do affect uh, the Supernova as well, okay? So, I kind of started noticing a while back that supernovas do kind of have like a reverse or upright attribute on their own too, which is kind of weird to me, but hey, whatever, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that. There we go, okay, so that's the start of my first turn. Now, um, now I know for a fact that unless I happen to get lucky uh, and do a critical hit with my Kingdom Hearts 3 Marluxia, which I actually don't want to happen in this case, because if I do get the critical hit, uh, I will actually go past his first revenge value, which will just completely throw off the entire quest, and I'll have to redo the quest, okay. Um, but, unless that happens, I know for a fact I'm not going to be reaching his first revenge value. So I'm just going to go ahead and let my setup run into it. Okay, let's look at that, all right? That was my first turn. I got super close to his first revenge counter, okay? So I know for a fact that he's going to be doing his, uh, his revenge move this turn, the dark energy ball dark energy ball attack, dark energy ball attack, okay? Um, and then as far as I can tell, the turn that he uses his Dark Energy Ball attack for his Revenge counter, okay? He is almost guaranteed to follow it up with a Slash attack at the end of your turn, okay? So in this case, because of the fact I know this is the turn, I'm gonna be hitting his Revenge value, I am not, gonna, not going to be using any Supernova abilities at all whatsoever, okay? Because again before, like I said at the very beginning, uh, if you go too far past his uh, HP, where he uses the revenge value, he has a tendency to start using the slash attacks sporadically, okay? Even when, uh, at random turns, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and use, just let my normal setup turn. So there's his revenge attack. So there's the slash attack that we know was gonna happen. Okay, we knew for sure that was gonna happen. From here, because of the fact that now that that turn is over, I'm gonna be okay with using my second uh, guilt through supernova this turn. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use Kyrie. And from here, I'm gonna use my FFRK Lightning. Okay, now from here, I'm just gonna let my setup run its course. You see, he didn't use the slash attack thing, okay? Now, this turn... 
Now for this turn, okay, there's two things you want to keep in mind. Because of the fact that I only have one, uh, my head's in the way. It's Marluxia over here. Ah, there, there it is. Okay, Marluxia over here. I only have one guilting, uh, guilt boost supernova ability left, so I'm not gonna use that. On top of the fact that I'm trying to save the rest of my supernova damage abilities uh, for the very last turn. Okay, so pretty much for the rest of this battle, until the very last turn, I'm not going to use any supernovas. So I'm just going to go ahead and let my setup run. I'm going to wait until I reach the turn after I reach that, that last supernova revenge value encounter before I start using any of those. I also... So right there. It also helped that I knew... I didn't mention it. But it also helped that I knew that I was going to reach his 30% threshold this turn as well, which also adds to the fact that I shouldn't be using any supernova uh, abilities, okay? Uh, and this turn, he's almost guaranteed to be using another side effect. There it is, okay? Now from here, because of fact this is the turn after his last uh, revenge value. This is the turn you just wanna spam everything, so you can just murder him <laughs> two bits, okay? Kill him as fast as possible. Let me turn that down a bit, okay? Kill him as fast as possible. <laughs> All right, so from here, I'm gonna use Kyrie. And because of the fact that my Kinemar 3 Marluxia is a reverse uh, supernova ability, I'm gonna use my Melis Maleficent first. So that way my supernova can also do damage, okay? Okay, there we go. Now, from here, I can just let my setup run its... Oh, fuck. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We're just trying to kill him this turn anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Now I'll just let my setup run its course, okay? And this is a turn I can actually spam my supernova abilities, okay? That's also great. I have, I have his supernova too, okay? And there we go. We beat Sephiroth, guys. <laughs> it's... It's very odd, I know. For some reason, the order that you use your supernova abilities seems to affect... How he does things okay don't know why this is the case um, and again this is just simply merely from what I observed all right you might have to finesse around with your setups a little bit in order to uh, try and make sure that you don't go too far past your revenge values on the turn that you reach them um, so but other than that I that was how I beat him. I hoped that my strategy and tips helped for you guys. Okay, like I said before, um, I've done this multiple times, and this has happened pretty consistently so far. Uh, I've only had a handful of cases where uh, I I messed up, and that was mostly because of the fact that my Kingdom Hearts 3 Marluxia went uh, accidentally did a critical hit, <laughs> which which threw off the first threshold a little bit. Okay, so, um, but other than that, like, I've had this consistent, and it seems to work so far, but I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below, as well as the fact that if you happen to have anything else to add that you think might help uh, with the situation, let others know that in the comment section down below as well. Help them out. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.